Hey, welcome, welcome back to my channel. I am Silver Ninja, and we are going over the game Ant Legion. And all the little events and features and caves and just whatever whatever we need to do to help everybody learn this game better. So we're going to go over the Mantis Cave today. And as you can see, it is where your little ants chew on a dead evil mantis. And when this opens up is uh, a little unclear, but I believe it is level 16. So here it doesn't really say Mantis Cave, it just says Unlock Cell. Now you know it opens up a little bit later in the nest levels because it's down here in the lower part of your cave. And these are the last things to open up. Now the other reason I believe the Mantis Cave opens up around level 16 is those cells. So when you go into the cells here, you can see that you can get your first row of cells at level 16, your second row at 20, and your third row at 22. Make sure you do those to have your army as strong as possible. And I relate those to the Mantis Cave because this is the only place you can buy, outside of the money shop, cells. And you exchange them for Mantis limbs. And this is where you get the, uh, the actual cells that you'll need to fill in 16, 20, level 22. And all your upgrading herbs and everything you need to keep that going, along with a few other items. And it's the only place you can get carpenter shards outside of hatching eggs and things. Uh, I mean, that you can get it through the exchange shop. And the uh, carpenter ant is a civil ant that gives you a training speed boost. Whoops. I hate when I touch the screen. All right. Uh, yeah, training speed 65, training speed 40%. They, those will stack. Uh, food required for training, minus 30%. And the one I find more important is the stamina cost, minus 30% when it is fully evolved, which is, depending on how many rallies you like to do, I like to do as many as possible. And for predator nests, that's what you use that for. So now that we're into that, how do you get to the next cave level? That was a question specifically asked to me. And it comes down to just battling. I just opened up six. And if I wanted to open up seven, I would come in here and you see they already give you these T9 soldiers. So your, your, your army ants are not used, just the ones that are provided before you attack. The activated stats are here. So it looks like all of my normal stats and then the rally size so we're gonna go in here we do a quick select and you see my rally size didn't change because that's still these so your rally size and your activated stats are the same and then it's whatever boost you get um, from your specialized ants so the recommended is not going to be enough to get through this cave for sure 62 percent down and if I do it again, I don't ever, I rarely recommend using the quick select unless you know it's a guaranteed win because it just doesn't give you the strongest percentage of army. So since I can't choose, say, only haste or only ranged, I'm going to find the ones that are uh, boosting specifically my army. And that's this one over here. I don't have them fully memorized, so we're just going to tap a couple of them here. Um, as I've said in other videos, the little um, icon there, this one has a shield. This one has a, f uh, a running foot, as it were. And this one has uh, an arrow flying. Those are typically related specifically. So like if I tap on this one, the fire ant, it gives a boost to the haste soldier. But some of them are army boosts. Okay. So now let's see how far we get on that one. About the same. <laughs> So I have to upgrade my uh, specialized ants quite a bit and or my other army stats. Um, you know, like through the snail, through the gears and the, um, all the things that boost my ants before I can get to the next level. So now we're going to go in and we're going to take a look at the battle area. And you can see I am collecting and I will be collecting for the next four hours. Now that is not the letting it sit is great for overnight or work or things like that. But it's not the way to maximize your root, your mantis limbs in this case, right? So we're gonna, I'm right here. 
and I'm going to go ahead and recall. And the reason I am still currently doing level 5 versus level 6, let me show you that here. So in order to do this, I have to go back in and I have to reset the cave. And now I can, and you cannot reset the cave while you are chewing on mantis limbs. The, the alert, I'll show you the alert here in a little bit comes up, says you have to be in a safe place. So let's go to, let's go to six. And we'll explain it a little bit here. So your first two caves or areas give you an extra 20% um, output. So could I steal this? Well, I could try, but let me check them first. So what you can see is their overall power here is immensely higher than mine. And I'll, we'll look at mine here in a second. Uh, they have the re full refinement, pretty much max um, everything. Their genes are maxed, their cells. So I, I pretty much, and they're, they're opened up uh, totems, both levels of totems, actually all levels of totems. And so that's not somebody I'm gonna beat by attacking. So let's go to the highest end of this. And you can check more than one, but typically, I've only ever come across one person I could probably beat, but guaranteed I wouldn't keep that spot for very long because I would just get attacked and beaten by one of these monsters. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go. 79 is the highest cave here. Now I could just pick a spot. I could hit this search button right here and it'll automatically put me on a spot. But I wanna do that just yet. All right, let's check this guy. So again, this guy is still a little higher than I am. I'm only at like level four. He has higher gene cells. So there's no point in attacking. And again, I could pick an empty spot. I'm just going to run through a few of these. So I could just sit on one and, and hope not to get attacked, which is great. Or I could attack and get a little extra, which is why I'm still in. See, I can't do that. So we got to reset the cave. So I go back to five. I lose a little bit of output per hour, but that's okay. And these have the same thing here. So if I check this guy. Now, if you don't have time to go through and check who you can attack. That's what this quick search button is, which opens up um, at a specific VIP level. So you can go through the VIP levels and see what that does. Which one that unlocks at, I think it's three or four, I don't remember. Uh, let's see, so what, what I like to do is just go somewhere up high and I change it quite frequently. The max level here is 354. And I like to attack anybody. There's obviously lots of open spots. But I don't like to attack anyone unless they have at least 125,000. Because you don't get all of them, you only get a percentage. Let's go down a little bit. Let's see, 94, 950. All right, here's one. All right. So. This one looks like something I can handle. Let's take a look at my stats. So I have, and I'm not looking at the levels, like level 10, 10, 11, 9, two golds, my genes. I'm not looking too shabby. My cells, I have all three rows, and I can't open up totem until uh, nest 25, which hopefully I'll be doing that soon. And also you can see the little symbols here too. There's the foot, there's the arrow, and there's the shield. Haste. Ranged melee. And you can also see my overall power here. So which guy was that? Alright, magpie. So I'm gonna check. Nope, wasn't that one. Alright. Thunder Queen, check. Alright, so cells. Okay, I beat those two rows. Jeans, I'm definitely higher there. Gears. Now, typically, I always check the gears first because it's a very, it's a quick indication of their of their strength compared to mine. And I'm obviously beating them in power, so it's more than I normally do to look into something. But let's go ahead and steal these. 
This is where you get to choose your best army. And I won by a lot. So now I am stuck on that spot until someone runs me off or until this little timer here, one hour and 44 minutes, expires. And then I can recall. So I feel the strongest way to get the most out of the mantis limb, out of the mantis cave, to get the most amount of limbs to spend in the exchange shop is by getting here at least every hour and a half or every hour and 45 minutes and attacking somebody new. Now, of course, you still got your life to live, right? Work, sleep, things like that. So just every time you come into the game, whether it be once a day, three times a day, try to update your Mantis Cave if you haven't already been booted and, uh, and attack somebody new. Because you will always get that, you know, I got what, like 30, I don't remember, 30,000, I give or take, um, Mantis Limbs, and then I'll be collecting for the next seven hours. But I have the availability in a couple hours to come back and, and attack somebody new and get another 30,000 on top of the collection, if that makes any sense. Now, if you try to leave now, it won't let me reset the cave, you must be in a safe zone to reset your collection progress. So I cannot reset the cave until I reach, until that timer ends. And again, I could go collect at the higher output of 31,000 per hour. And that might be something that I will do overnight or when I have um, a work schedule that I can't come back and attack new people. But it's not something I'm gonna do when I can come back and check every couple hours. Uh, typically after work, I'll do something like that. Oh, we got a little server thing going on there. All right, so I hope I have answered all your questions. Well, let's push a couple more buttons. This is those you've attacked. And you can just kind of go in through and see everything that I've stolen. 37, 32, 27, okay. Now, two hours, eight hours. Here's one that's only three hours apart, one hour apart. And raid attempts. So you only get a certain amount of attempts that you can attack others. Um, and sometimes when you go to use the, uh, the quick capture a limb, your, the whole cave might be full. So you'll have to take time to search and find something to attack. So I think that is everything. Um, if you have, uh, any questions or if I got anything wrong, absolutely comment in the, um, below in the comments. Um, other than that, have a, have a great day and remember to keep it fun. Thanks for watching.